If y'all ever get a fucking Dodge or a Chrysler, and y'all don't call me, y'all the hoes, cuz. Y'all the real life hoes, <laughs> That's my lane, that's my avenue. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. Okay, Dodge and Chrysler. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I don't give a fuck if that bitch need a motor. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Anthony here of Speed Plus Garage. Today we're going to be talking about our 1990 Honda CRX SI that we picked up for $400 from Auto Salvage Yard. Alright, so now let's go ahead and hop out and take a look around the car and show you what, what we got here, okay? <laughs> He's never... Uh. Alright. <laughs> Woo! Alright, so after we picked it up from the junkyard, we brought it here and we cleaned it up and we got it all nice and pretty to see what the damages was on it. Alright, so continuing on with this car, what we're actually going to do to it is we've got a bunch of goodies for it. We're going to use it for a road racing slash autocross car. So we're not really looking to make a ton of power. Of course, we could do a D-Series uh, turbo and make easily 400 wheel horsepower. We're going to kind of go a different way to set this car up for time attack and road racing. So what we got here is we actually got a Jackson Racing Supercharger. We're gonna install the Jackson Racing Supercharger. And we're also gonna do, while we're at it, we're gonna do a little D16 Y8 head, which is the VTEC single cam head. So we're gonna do a mini me swap on that as well. Which is gonna bring us up to, we're hoping for about 200 wheel horsepower. Once we get done with this, we'll probably have to refresh the engine up a little bit, do some suspension work, and also do a, obviously some body work to it. Rustles don't break with my weight. Man, if you break it, you buy it. Uh, what was the issues with this car when, you... when uh when we first got the car it, it had the remember it didn't have a key. Oh that's right. You didn't have a key. It was a police tow car. Bought it, it blind. We, well we didn't we didn't really have a real title or anything. Yeah. It was kind of like it's anyway, all that's been fixed. We have a key, we have a title, it runs, it starts, it actually drives. So go ahead, stay tuned for the CRX supercharged build. In fact, go ahead, stay tuned for the future review that we have on the 67 Firebird. We're gonna have to show a lot of details on that. We're gonna show what's in it, the interior, and if you can actually daily drive one of these things like my friend Anthony over here does. Uh, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and come back for future videos. Yeah. 